Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. I have a Bolo show for you guys. Wait until you see the bolos that members of my Facebook group share. These are big money bolos. And when I say big money, I mean big money. These are items that you want to be looking out for when you are outsourcing. Because I'm telling you what, you should see the big money bolos in this video. So you're going to want to stay tuned until the very end. So what I did was I posted a Facebook post that basically asked the group to share their best big money bolo that they sold in June. Here is a picture of the post and I hope to do this again in the future. So if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go down below and check it out. I have assigned four moderators to help me out. I have Philly Flipper, who is gonna be helping moderate the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I also have B Carried Away. And you guys, if you're not subscribed to these four people, please go down to the description and sub them up because they are awesome. I have Mindful Recycle, Terry, who's also gonna be helping out. And basically, they're just gonna watch over the comments and keep out the bad stuff. And then we also have Carissa from Chosen Goods Reseller YouTube channel. So again, their links will be down in the description. Definitely give them a sub. All right, you guys, are you ready to see some big money bolos? Okay, we're gonna check out these big money bolos. I will be shouting out YouTube channels of the people that shared that are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So those with memberships will get a special shout out in this video as a bonus perk this month. Okay, the first item that was sold is this Barbie clone. This was uh, purchased at a garage sale for $5 and it sold on Bonanza for $272. So definitely be on the lookout for clones. The next item that sold is this swimsuit. And this is a vintage swimsuit that was purchased in a bulk buy at an estate sale. So she paid less than a dollar for it. And this comes from Leah's Bits and Pieces. She is not a member, but she has helped me with the channel and my Facebook group. So special shout out to Leah. This one is also Leah's, and this dress was actually given to her. And it was new without tags and actually worn in a photo shoot. And she sold this for $180.49. Gunny Sacks is definitely a bolo item to be on the lookout for. Okay, Butterfly Hustles. Definitely check out Butterfly Hustles. She is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and she sold this amazing dinosaur that she picked up at the Goodwill for $5.49. And she sold it for $154, you guys. It's a Jurassic Park dinosaur. So definitely be on the lookout for one of those. The next item comes from The Thrifty Nurse. And she is also a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and she sold this Barbie. She bought this on Shop Goodwill. She did get a bidding war going, so she did pay up for this. She paid $200 for it, but she sold it for $450. So definitely be on the lookout for certain Barbies. Okay, this is fantastic. It is a rare Cinderella snow globe. And she purchased this for $46.01 with shipping on Mercari. And it sold the next day for full asking price of $499.95. So it is possible to source on Mercari. Okay, we have this Lion Guard playset. It was purchased on Facebook Marketplace for $30. And she sold it for $145, you guys amazing she did sell this item on ebay okay this next item is this hen on a nest candy dish it's by indiana glass and she purchased this at a yard sale for one dollar and it sold for a hundred and twelve dollars 
and 50 cents. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. Always check comps, you guys. Definitely check comps. Okay, this next item comes from Philly Flipper, who is also a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. He sold this Breville. It is a hot chocolate maker. Very interesting. He bought it at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for $104 on eBay in less than 24 hours. And he said he was very proud of this sale. All right, this item was purchased at Amvets Thrift in Tennessee for $7 and sold on eBay for $149.99. It did have free shipping, so the gross profit on this was $113. And it's a uh, construction climbing thing. I love this next one. It is a trapper keeper, you guys, a vintage trapper keeper. And she said she knew about this bolo because of this Facebook group, which is awesome. She bought it for $2 and she sold it for $70. So super cool. Definitely be on the lookout for vintage trapper keepers. The next item are these Beyblades. And he purchased these for $10 and he sold them within two days on eBay for $99.99. So um, I have found these at garage sales. So definitely be on the lookout when you're outsourcing. The next item was sourced for free. The best way to get something, right? They were at a yard sale and it was sitting with the leftovers. So cost of goods was zero. They accepted a best offer of $85 on this one. And it is an Esprit Rainbow logo canvas tote bag. The next item was picked up for $3 and it sold for $55 plus shipping. And it is a under the cabinet power opener can opener. And these things can definitely be a bolo, some more than others, so definitely look up comps. Okay, the next is this sterling silver flatware. It's 13 pieces. And she picked this up in a lot of silverware that was silver plated for $20. And she still has the silver plated silverware listed for $79. So definitely an awesome find right there. Okay, you guys. So this sold for $750. It is King of the Hill. It's a PC Mac game. I don't even look at those. I definitely need to be on the lookout. Uh, this was picked up for 50 cents. Oh my goodness, what a bolo. So this next one we have talked about in the group, but um, the Facebook group member bought this for 50 cents and it sold in one hour for $100. She picked it up at a yard sale when they were on their way home from vacation. So super cool find, definitely a bolo. The next item is a signed print of a leopard. And this was picked up at American Thrift for $6.99 and it sold within eight hours for $199.95. So definitely a bolo. The next item is this Waterford crystal glass set and her sister gave it to her for free because she doesn't like to ship glass and her sister got it for $3 at a thrift store. She did end up taking a best offer of $200 for this and she used pool noodles to ship. Oh my goodness, this Kenner Small Soldiers Battle Changing Archer action figure sold for $999.95. This was picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $7.50. Oh my goodness. The next item is this Department 56 castle. And Department 56 can definitely be a bolo item. This was purchased at the Goodwill for $1.99 and it sold within two hours of posting for $170. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this Vanity Fair nightgown. And these range from bread and butter to big money, but vintage lingerie can definitely be a bolo. This was picked up at the Goodwill for $5.99 and it sold for $32 plus shipping. Okay, so the next bolo item was picked right out of the trash. So cost of goods was zero. 
And these are DC Comics Batman. And it says 365 through 484, 30 issues. Wow. Free Bolo. The next item is this Black & Decker Space Maker. Again, it's an under the cabinet um, item. And this sold for $159.99 and was picked up at a thrift store for $25. Those space makers are definitely a bolo to look for. Okay, so the next item is this antique fan. Super old, paid $5 at a junk sale for this one and it sold for $250. And it looks like the buyer paid the shipping on that one. So definitely a bolo item. The next item is kind of trending right now. I've been hearing a lot about these. And it is the folding aluminum chase lounge lawn chairs. And this one sold for $59.95. The buyer paid the shipping. And this was picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $9. The next item comes from Terry Mindful Recycle, who is also a member of my YouTube channel. She's also a moderator. She picked these dolls, um, ornaments, princess ornament dolls, up for $15 at a garage sale and listed it for $250 and took a best offer of $230. Okay, so I think this next item is a fraternity or a sorority pin. And this came from a garage sale for a dollar and it sold auction style for $99.99. So definitely be on the lookout for just unique and different things. Okay, this was part of a bulk buy at a garage sale. They paid $50 for a bunch of pressed steel trucks. And this one item sold for $187.50. It is a Tonka Mound Men pickup truck. The next item is a Star Wars electronic helmet. And it is from Hasbro, so it's a toy. And this came from the local Goodwill for $19.99. Had it listed for $200, but took a best offer of $175. Okay, so this next item came from a local auction. They bought the contents of the entire table for $5. It had backpacks and all kinds of stuff. This was one of the items. And this item alone sold for $170 and the buyer paid the shipping. And it's a motorcycle vest. The next item that sold is this Briar Horse for $650. This was picked up at a thrift store for $1 and he got 12 other horses. All right, you guys, this bolo comes from Eddie who has been a member of my Facebook group and has helped me out on many videos. If you search my videos for HodgePodge, you can see all of the amazing bolos that he sells. I have featured him so many times. He has this Facebook group, Resellers Research Group, definitely go check it out. The next item is this vintage Ethan Allen uh, drop leaf table. And this was purchased at a Savers for $4 and it sold for $300. And there is a lot of talk that goes on in my group about Ethan Allen items. They are definitely a bolo. Okay, this next item, I'm not sure if it's CDs or a book, but it's called uh, Benny Hill. Uh, not sure, but it sold for $249.99. Maybe you guys can tell from the picture what it is, but it was purchased at the Habitat for Humanity for $2. Wow, this Sony Walkman was for parts or repair, and it sold for $315. Parts or repair, you guys, didn't even work. Sold in less than 24 hours for $315, and it came from a garage sale and they paid 10 for it. The next item is this Voice of the Mummy board game. And this came from an estate sale on the last hour. She bought a bundle of things for $5. This was in the box. And she said it was in nice condition, but the box had seen better days. And it still sold for $100. 
Okay, the next item, she dug these paper books out of bins at a local thrift store, so she paid $8 for 16 books. Two were missing from the set, and she sold them for $99.99 plus shipping and sold in three days. So definitely a bolo. The next item is this tag, Heuer, 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 I'm not sure how to say that, watch. And it was purchased at an estate sale for $10 and it sold auction style for $222.50. And it looks like it's a women's watch. The next item is this Ralph Lauren purple label. Always look for purple label. That is the big money uh, label in Ralph Lauren. This sold for $300 and it was purchased for $27. So definitely a big money bolo right there. The next item is this vintage hat and it is, it says back off and it's a trucker hat and it was purchased at a flea market for $1 and it sold for $152.50 auction style on eBay. Super cool bolo. The next item is this new old stock fan. Um, sold it for a hundred dollars and it sold within 24 hours. She thinks now that she should have priced it higher. Haven't we all done that before? Anyway, she purchased this for $10. All right. This next item is a 1930s vintage Coleman lantern. This was found at a garage sale for $25 and it sold auction style for $687.71. Wow, uh, definitely a bolo. Okay, so this next item is Jefferson Nickel RPM book, and it's like a pricing guide, it looks like. And he said he bought six books from this series. He paid a dollar each, and he has already sold five of them. The cheapest one sold for 75 and this one sold for 115 Okay, you guys, you've heard about the Amazon Benz stores. That's where this came from. She bought it for $6, and it sold for $950. Free shipping. Is that amazing or what? The Amazon Benz. All right, the next item sold for $155. It's a signed Bob Timberlake um, art photo uh, framed piece, and she paid a dollar for it, and it sold within two weeks, and she said she secretly loves to find and research art. Unfortunately, I do not know where this one came from or what they paid for it, but it was just too good not to share. It's a vintage Patagonia fleece plush salmon. <laughs> it's a stuffed animal, you guys, and it sold for $200. Wow. All right, the next one is a squish mallow, and these things are all over the place. I have a video on this channel and my other channel about squish mallows if you want to learn more, but this came from the Goodwill, paid $1.18, and it sold for $60, and the buyer paid the shipping. And the last bolo here is mine. These are robot toy figures from the Robots movie. I had no idea they were a bolo. I pulled these out of a mystery box. They sat and sat and sat, and I finally listed them. And to my surprise, they were a bolo, and I sold them for $90 plus shipping. Be sure to go down to the description of the video and join my Facebook group. And I hope to do this again in the future. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. And also check out memberships if you would like to be involved in some of the other things I'm doing. You get additional perks if you join memberships. All right, you guys. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.